first I'm going to start by drawing the left visual field. Let's see, first starting with the left eye. This is where it all collects. And it comes back a little bit. And starting with the right eye. And this is the line where it follows on the optic nerve. And then, switch your markers. Yeah, I'm just going to that one. Then, the right visual field. And where it follows, it's still on the same nerve, I'm just separating them so that the Sharpies don't destroy themselves. And then the right visual field. follows, still same nerve, just different lines. And then, seriously? You just dinged your car. Should I just go check that? Yeah, you probably should, considering it's not your car. Really? Right, and then here is where it comes into the optic chiasm. Well, the crossover happens. Currently doing this inside of a car. It just apparently got tapped. Anyway, moving on. The crossover happens, so the right visual field moves to the right side of the brain from the left eye. And then, the left visual field crosses under meet up with the left visual field from the left eye, coming out from the left visual field of the right eye. Alright, so since I left the other car and had to go back to mine, because my friend had to leave to go to an appointment, I have added only two things. They were very minor. I added the visual field, left, right, labels. See, because orange starts here, but then it's projected here, so that's the right half of the visual field, and then the mauve purple starts here, but then it's reflected and picked up on the left side here, so that's why it does the crossover in there, see, little dots. And it's the same thing for the right eye, yeah, little dots. I thought of this after I'd already written my name at the top, and I'm working in Sharpie, so it's a little bit difficult, but, you know, hang on with me. And then see, little dots, orange goes there, for that. Make it bigger, because it's kind of hard to see that. <coughs> Alright, cool. I apologize, I have a cold. Alright, so, that's how, you know, that's why it's there, and then, so, you have the right visual field going back down the optic nerve. Let's see, label that. I'm going to label that in the mauve just because it's easier to see. Optic nerve left right and then let's see how we do any of this. Then I'm going to circle this in dots relatively big dots, so that I don't like make it look like it's an extra line because I don't have a third color, sorry about that. This is the optic chiasm right here. Optic chiasm. Alright, and then, as we continue on, and I'm going to start with orange first just because I'm right handed and it's easier. As we continue on, we now have the fully thickened orange line, which is now turning into and becoming the optic tract, which I'm just going to circle into a line, optic tract, right, and then at some point, 
it turns into the lateral geniculate nucleus where everything begins to be processed in like this little nodule looking thing. It's like a preprocessor for the visual cortex, which then continues out the back here. And then I'm just gonna like kind of cut this off because I'm kind of running out of the back of this notebook. Color this in. And then do some arrows to visual cortex. Let's see. And then it continues in the same way with the left side, with the left visual field and, you know, left visual nerves and all that. So from the optic chiasm, fill it in a little bit better because it's crazy. this is weird, by the way, drawing while looking through a phone. I'm using my phone for this because my digital camera decided to die two weeks ago. And I don't see the point in buying a new one. Alright, then we have, yet again, another optic tract. Optic tract. This time it's the left one. And then it, in a similar way to this, oh, I forgot to label that. Sorry. Lateral. Geniculate. That's an A. Nucleus. Let's see. And then this one does a very similar thing where it has like, I'm going to represent this as some kind of like weird snail turbo scroll thingy where it just kind of goes up and it's weird and does stuff. <coughs> it has like a pre -process. So there's, This is the representation of the lateral nucleus on the left hand side. Sorry about that cutoff. My phone decided it was out of memory so I had to delete things. And it continues on, but before I continue. I finished reading the word lateral. Geniculate. Nucleus. And then this continues and moves back towards the occipital lobe on the left hand side to the left visual cortex where it is processed and translated and turned into things that you're seeing. And I'm going to label that. So awkward. And that is my diagram of the optic chiasm. Beginning to end. Very informative. Plus now I have it with me all the time. This is on the back of the notebook that I just bought that I'm going to be carrying all the time.